what exactly is a for each loop? So a for each loop is a tool used to iterate through either arrays or lists. So you could use this with a list of game objects so you could look through and get specific properties or perform specific actions on that array. I'm sorry, I mean on a specific item in that array. So let's go ahead and create one of these in our start method. So first, outside of the start method, I'm going to create a public. Uh, we'll make a list, we'll call it string. Uh, actually, we'll call it game object. Public list, game object, game objects. And then in our start method, we'll say for each, open parentheses, game object, G in game objects. And open, uh, open curly brace, close curly brace. So what we're doing here is we're getting, we're looking for the type of game object. We're setting it to a variable of G and we're iterating through the game object. So every time it runs through, it's going to go through this in order uh, the items that are there. And within this block, it's going to set G to be equal to that game job, a job, game object at that instance. Sorry, I get a little tongue tied. So this means that G will equal the index for this iteration. And then it goes to the next one. G will be reset to the next item in the list. So we can say debug.log and we'll say g.name. And then we will, we're gonna be pulling items from this up here. So we're gonna go back into Unity and we're going to put items in that. And that is why we made it public and put it outside of any of the methods. So we go in here and we will drag our for each loop. So I have another script on here. Drag our for each loop onto our camera and our game objects here. We just need to set this to a length. So I'm going to set it to three because there's three objects in my scene. Set main camera, directional light, and cube. And then if we press play, we will see main camera, directional light, and cube matching the lists that are here. So you could do a lot more with this than just like print out names, you could access scripts on those items. So say you had a player or an enemy or an NPC or something in your scene, and you wanted to get a script off of them called uh, player health or AI health, you could dive into that and say game object dot get component, and I'll just type it out here. So if it had that on there, so if it had a script, you could say g dot get component, uh, AI health. And then from there, you could perform some public method that's inside of that object. This could be applying damage or just getting values, healing everybody, doing whatever you want to do there. But I hope that explains how these things work. Uh, please, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Just want to take a quick moment to shamelessly promote myself. I have a game coming out on Steam on November 23rd called Survive the Uprising. It's a silly game. It's a wave-based survival where the machines have come to life and you can buy guns and upgrade equipment and things like that to fight off the waves until you can face up to the boss and defeat the level. Uh, if that's up your alley, please wishlist it or if even if you just want to support the channel, I would really appreciate it.